Hi everyone, Jeannie here with Belly Beads here today to bring you a tutorial on how to roll my 16 millimeter round strips. Now, the code link to this is 555462. And what this means is if you purchased my paper strips, it will link you to this tutorial. And reason being is I thought that it would be more helpful for the beginner or even the advanced because there's multiple strips, I'm going to show you how to roll them. And you can purchase my paper strips through my website, which is bellybeads.com, or through my group. Um, it's a paper bead group through Facebook called Paper Beads Born Pretty. I will place all the links below. And it comes in this great packaging, and they remain straight. And um, they are five strips to this one. This one's a 16 millimeter round. There's five strips to one bead and it will make five beads. This is a pretty large bead. So when you receive them, you want to take them out of the package and you want to line up each one appropriately. Make sure that each strip is the exact same um, width as the the tip of it to the bottom of it. It just makes for an easier rolling technique. I'm also using a paper bead roller by Paper Bead Crafts. You can use any roller, but this one's a number two, so that's the one I'm using for my 16 millimeter round. I'm also using Elmer's Clear Glue, and with this great container, I love it. it this little nozzle on the end of it really makes it easy. Um, I know that a lot of you had mentioned that the glue gets stuck. I've heard that, um, but I found that with this stopper, it really does help when you place it back when you're not using it. Also, if it gets in your way, you can always remove this while you're rolling. I'm also selling these with the glue in, inside of it, uh, three for a dollar on my site, my website. And let's get started. Um, before I do, I just love to mention, your hands seem to always get dry. Um, they become dry because of the absorption of your oils into the paper. So make sure that you always have a nice um, lotion around to moisturize your hands. They can become very cracked and you don't want to have that happen. Let's start begin with the first strip. So here's one, two, three, four, five. The five strips and they all are appropriately lined up. So when I am finished the first one, I go down the line. I Okay, let's, here's the first one. I'm going to condition my paper, which means running my fingers through the paper, which allows it to be a little bit more softer. Gets it a little bit more softer. And I pick up my paper bead and I place my strip into that little slot up there. Now, when you're, when you're working with multiple strips, you really have to take your time and roll very slowly. Not too slowly, but enough where you're able to keep them straight. Now, if you notice, I was pushing them back. Because the strip is very large, it has a tendency to go off unless I don't let it, which means I place my pin on my index finger. Now, everybody rolls differently, and that's fine, but this is the way I usually do it. It helps it behave a little bit better for me. And as I'm rolling, I'm keeping the tension not too tight but not too loose either okay so hopefully that makes sense usually dab some glue on to the the end there and I'm pretty generous with my glue I like to saturate it sometimes not too much but enough to roll it around I think it gives it a little bit more durability gets it, it prepares it for the glazing process now I kind of fixed that little bit there and that'll happen now I'm prepared for the second piece. I'm going to condition the paper and place some glue on that end there. And line the first strip with the second strip and you can see, hopefully you can see that in the camera. They're both the same size and that's a good indication if you have the wrong strip. If it's not the same size, the beginning of the second strip is not the same size as the first ending strip and then I begin to roll and just take your time with it. It is um, something that you have to have a lot of patience for. And just keep tucking and 
pulling and pushing to make sure that it's all lined up. The better you maintain this while you're rolling, the better the, the rounder it will be and evenly. Put some glue on this. Another good tip for your glue too so it doesn't get you know all stuck in the in the tip there is if you're doing this under a light keep that under the light and it keeps it nice the warmer the glue the better the flow okay now I'm gonna keep my eye on this strip because I'm gonna get ready for the third strip I'm gonna condition it get some glue on there and I'm gonna line that up with that strip the second one now see I don't don't pull it off really quick keep it there for just a second place your fingers on it and then begin to roll again and if you notice I'm trying to keep it centered it is a big bead so you want to take your time with it but when it's done boy is it pretty and this paper is really kind of neat because it is a little thicker it's a uh, 45 pound paper and uh, it is a little bit more of a misbehaving for me but I'm controlling it right now so <laughs> keep that glue centered rub it around ready for the fourth strip oops condition it put some glue on the end of that and there we go there's that strip oops sorry I've got the wrong strip sorry sorry about that after a while they all look alike <laughs> and and I knew that by looking at Sometimes you have to feel for this. <laughs> right there. That did not line up. Now this one lines up. Sometimes I like to make mistakes on tutorials so you know what not to do, right? Oops. I squeezed it. That's what I did right there. Got to keep a hold of it. And there you go. Can you make sure that it's lined up to... Um, see, I don't like that. That's not good. There you go the the more strips that are on it the harder it does get a little bit more cumbersome controlling it but it's possible and they're so pretty once they're glazed too getting over to that one and I think that one's almost done it's coming out rather nicely huh okay and my last strip little glue and find the end of that last strip marry it with the other one you're gonna see it has to connect with the last strip where you ended don't go anywhere else other than where you ended with the last strip and just very slowly since this is the last strip just be mindful of keeping it really straight because it's so thin and there you go we're almost done now I, I'm very generous with the glue on the last strip because I like rolling my fingers through the entire bead it prepares it for uh, glazing there we go I don't pull my beads off I push them off and there is your 16 millimeter bead all right there you go if you like this video please subscribe give it a thumbs up and um, have fun rolling. Thank you. Bye, everyone.